There we go. Hey, how's it going, y'all? I hope you are having a good, uh, oh, well, we're in week three now, right? I hope y'all are having a good week three. Um, I wanted to talk to you just a little bit about your essay. I am, much like last week, going to do another video for you on Monday or Tuesday once I've had a chance to get through all of your APA exercises. I haven't uh, gotten quite finished with all of those yet, so I'll um, have a little video to help you through some APA issues as they come up and in the meantime if you all have questions or anything you'd like me to address in that video feel free to shoot me an email and I'll include those topics. Um, and so big things this week you have quite a bit of reading to do and the other thing is to start working on your um, comparative rhetorical analysis essay on the two articles that you either chose or the two articles that you're using from my folder on Blackboard. Um, the things to remember, first of all, make sure you have a scientific and uh, news media article. Uh, remember those aspects of science writing and make sure that your scientific article meets those um, requirements. Um, and remember that for this essay we are focusing on um, how the information is being delivered. You can talk a bit about the information, but this is not a topic-based essay. You're not writing me an essay about the topic that these um, articles are discussing. You are evaluating how they deliver that information. Um, so keep that in mind as you begin writing. A lot of times with these kinds of essays, students will get kind of bogged down in talking about the topic and forget that the purpose here is to analyze how well, uh, to compare first how the articles deliver their information and then to analyze um, how good of a job the media article does. Um, let me take a look at our Blackboard site right quick um, to see if there's anything I am missing. Um, um, <coughs> another thing, I did respond to your checkpoints. If you have a specific question about an assignment you're working on for the week, go ahead and email me. The checkpoint is just kind of a little check-in, kind of chit-chat, how are things going. If there's a, um, you know, some kind of a course problem you're, you're dealing with, um, that can be a good place to address it. Um, if there's something that you're anxious about, that's a good place to address it. And most of you are doing that. Um, but a couple of you are giving me assignment questions there, and that's better handled in an email if it's for something that's due that week. If it's something down the road, the checkpoint's a good place to do that. Um, so other than um, some APA questions and a few essay questions, I haven't really had um, any major issues to address with you all this week, so that's good. It seems like the course must be going pretty well. Either that or you're afraid to ask some questions. So if you've got questions, uh, please do go ahead and ask them. Um, so get started on the essay. Um, you do need to have the major points of comparison for your checkpoint um, on Wednesday, but you don't have to have the essay complete by any means by that point. Um, another uh, thing I'll mention, make sure you do read through the materials in the folder. I've added a couple of little supplemental things uh, to help you. Uh, oh, I remember. I need to talk to you a little bit about MRAD. I mentioned MRAD format last week. MRAD stands for Introduction, Methods, Results, and Discussion. It's the report format uh, used a good deal in the sciences and in the social sciences as well. You may have run across it in a science class or a psychology class. I am asking you to format this upcoming essay in MRAD just to get you used to the format. It's what you'll be using for your um, observation report later in the semester. That said, um, I'll go over that a little bit more in detail when I do the APA video next week. I'll kind of give you a tutorial on um, citation and some reminders. I linked to a uh, handout from NC State that goes over what components go in each section of MRAD. You will not need all those components. For this essay, you're not going to need an abstract, for example. Um, so don't don't get anxious when you see the different pieces of an essay. The, it's really just a way to organize your writing. Uh, APA uses headings, and so you can give your MRAD sections aside from the introduction headings. Um, so it's not um, it's not terribly difficult. It's just new, and um, I'll address any questions you have on a, in a video on Monday or Tuesday. I hope y'all have a great weekend. If you need help over the weekend, certainly send me an email. I'll be doing a lot of grading, so I'll be around. I'll be back and forth to the computer. So I hope all is going well for you. Thanks for checking in with me, and I'll be back on with another video for you all on Monday or Tuesday.